here. Um, we discuss, well, personally, my personal feeling is that we don't need to have two companies that do the same exact thing and pay them separately. Last time, the reason we discussed it because we were paying $3,900 to two people, two companies, I'm sorry, to do the same exact thing. And I believe California Consultant agreed to take on the entire city for, now you're saying $4,900 with a $100 cap, which makes more sense than paying over $8,000 for two consultants. The reason I'm really opposed to the hourly rate is that we heard last council meeting from council member Kuzbanka is that they start having all these meetings and even talking to council members and charging a hundred or whatever it is dollars per hour and you end up with thousands and thousands of dollars more and there's no way to really vet you know the meetings if you know what the meetings are for um, based on some of the invoices that we receive all it says is you know spoke to staff spoke to staff and that's all we get. We don't know what that means. We don't know, they just called and said hello, and I know I'm just being a little sarcastic, but what we really don't know, it could really be that. We don't know. And so I'm completely opposed to the hourly rate. I'm completely opposed to having two consultants to do the same exact thing. So my motion is to keep California consultant who offered to take the entire city, lower the rate to $4,900 and a $100 cap as opposed to having two companies that can basically cost us way more than ten thousand, and we're not careful. So that's my motion. Yes. Thank you, Mayor. Is it motion? Any objections? Oh, oh, if we go on an hourly rate, the way they were billing before, with having meetings with even council members, at the hourly rate, it could be more than the thirty-nine hundred that they had originally. However, I feel that I've been deceived, and I think the taxpayers have been deceived because they really can't say what they've been working on all this time, and yet they've been working. From 2015, they were working, or, or Mr. Solano was working on a few grants for the Walnut Creek, which our staff does. The other thing is that recently our police department got a $48,000 grant, and I asked who put that together, and they said staff did. So our staff is very, very capable of putting together these grants. It's obvious by the by what we saw earlier today for that um, five-year plan that the public works had all the grants and measure R and everything that we're going to be paying for a lot of this. Our parks and rec gets all the grants as far as whatever's going on. I feel that we're throwing our money away until Mr. Solano can prove to us that I think that what he should do in good faith or his company should do in good faith, give us the grant and we'll give him a percentage. Let's agree on a percentage of 10% or 50% so that that way we show him, he shows us in good faith that he is doing the job. That's what I propose. Is maybe we can move this over to the next council meeting so we can talk about this one. I just, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I, I just disagree because you're answering for Del Sol. You're, uh, you're talking for him. This is a company that's established that should be able to answer for themselves. Last time they came, we weren't looking at any particular invoice. It was on the agenda that each consultant was going to give us a report as to what they were working on. We saw California consultant do that. They, you know, talked about what they were working on, and so by the time Del Sol came, they weren't able to answer the questions, and they were on the agenda. So as a company getting paid thirty nine hundred dollars a month, they should have been better prepared with the report on what they worked on, and he couldn't answer the questions. And so to me, that just shows that. You know, we're not even sure what he's um, working on. Um, again, going back to California Consultant, and just to be clear, you brought them. We were against it since the beginning because we thought our, you know, staff could do a good job. At the very least, I think I just heard Mr. Shannon Yeltsin talk about how they did get some grants and they were able to save us money as opposed to doing a percentage, I believe. And so they did bring us grants. So that's why, like I said, I'm inclined to go with someone that produced, has been responsive, has been giving us report, and can justify what they're getting paid for. So I don't see why we would even bring it back. Um, my motion is just to go with one consultant. To me, it's a waste of taxpayer money to pay for the same thing and not have a company know how to answer their own questions. So that's my motion, Mayor. Okay, I second. Okay, one object, I'll go and object so with two, two. I have been in business for myself most of my life. And when someone asks me to justify an invoice that I have sent them, I can tell you off the top of my head why I charge what I charge without missing a beat. Mr. Solano wasn't able to answer anything. He looked like a deer in headlights. And he should have been aware, if he's charging and he's writing something on an invoice, all I wanted, he didn't have to have the paperwork. He's the one that created it. 
So I just wanted him to be, please give me the information. I wasn't disputing him. I wasn't doubting him. I just wanted answers, and he never gave them to me. He never gave me any of the answers. So to me, I feel again, like I say, I feel I've been deceived. What am I, or the taxpayers, what are we paying someone $3,900 a month to do what? To be an ornament here in the city? To just fill up space? Because I haven't gotten any answers. And Mr. Solano isn't even here today. He's never called me or to have a meeting to explain any of this. It's like he doesn't care because he's got the three votes. So what difference does it make? He doesn't care what I say. Okay, I, let me ask staff. I mean, um, Manny Carrillo, does, are there any grants that, that the uh, Del Sol is working on currently? Or? We've worked with Del Sol in the past. We are currently working on one grant, although it's uh, it's on hold right now until we get clarification from the school district if they would like to proceed with a uh, with a new green space. So currently, we have no uh, grants that we're working with with Delso. Okay. What about with California Consulting? We are working with them for community development. And we are working on a few grants right now. One in particular is the NEA National Endowment of the Art. California consultants have uh, proven to be a very good company. So going back to my, my point, we don't need to consultants to do the same exact thing and pay to different people. I still believe we should save taxpayer money and just go with one company. But I really want to hear your thoughts, Mayor. Why do you think we need to? If you don't mind, I just want to hear your thoughts. I don't want to be missing something. Oh, no, I, I, absolutely not. I think that there are two different companies with obviously two different uh, methods by what, the way they approach. And what I'm going to do, bring it back and assess it for the next three months to look at what other potentials there are and to see what they've achieved within the next three months. So that's what I'm going to base my, my decision on. Well, you keep saying that there are two different companies. Let me clarify, there really are not. In fact, he started working with California Consultant. Everything he learned was from California Consultant. He just happened to break away and he doesn't have the experience that California Consultant has. They do the same exact work. They're not necessarily doing different things. I'm sorry, I have to disagree with you. And again, going back to years of experience, again, I prefer no consultants at all, but if the reason I'm inclined to go with California Consultant because their years have established, they've been established for many years. And like I said, Del Sol used to be his employee and I don't believe they do anything differently. He just happened to break away not so long ago and now wants to have his own company, but they produce the same work and basically draw from the same resources. So I think that they can do the same job and we don't have to pay two people to do the same thing. And as I indicated, I, will, I am going to assess it over the next three months, so we'll take it from there. So Again, again, I don't want to prejudge Mr. Pasolano. He's obviously not president, as was mentioned in here. And uh, we want to give an opportunity for everyone. I mean, it's... it's uh, um, these are two competitive firms, and I understand that. This is an explanation and tells us justify the invoices so that we're not overpaying somebody for, like I said, and I'm sorry to use the example of just being an ornament or somebody's friend on the dais that he was promised a job because I would really like to see his qualifications. We would not accept that of our staff. And I think that I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be accepted if I'm not doing my job, even if I'm up here on the dais. I would like for him to come and give us a presentation and show us what he's been doing, what his ideas are, what kind of creative ideas is he coming to the table with, or is he being handed all the jobs and all the grants? Is it something that he's researching? Is it something that he's done before in another city? Is it something that he can make our city grow and, and alleviate some of the work from our staff? and lessen the blow or lessen the load. That's what like earlier you said, you know, when we were talking about both companies, he says, you know, we have to give an opportunity to everyone. We're not in the business of giving opportunities if we don't need them. We're not here to, you know, build a resume for any company. Right, right. Yeah, I guess it just stands that it's going to be 2-2, so um, can we move on to the next item?
I just, just, yes. just want to. I just want to clarify for the record that the, this is being moved over when you have your third vote with uh, Mayor Pro Tem Garcia. I, just for the record, I need to state that. And you may not. If you don't like it, then you probably shouldn't be sitting there. And you may not. If you don't like it, then you probably shouldn't be sitting there. And you may not. If you don't like it, then you probably shouldn't be sitting there. That's taxpayer money, and we're responsible. And I continue to feel uncomfortable paying someone else just so because we want to give them an opportunity. I think that's not the way we should do business. Thank you. You are just trying to justify what Councilmember Rubio and myself are trying to say. This has nothing to do with the three or the majority vote. It has to do what is right for the taxpayers of the city of Baldwin Park. That is what I want. Just like you have an obligation, I have an obligation. You're stealing from us. And like you said, this is a democratic system. You're stealing from us. Yes, and we have spent but you're so refusing far, to recognize the democratic process. But you, what you haven't seen, seen is that we've spent almost five hundred thousand on consultants, and the and the three companies that AAE and Advanced Infrastructure, they, it's almost five hundred thousand dollars worth of expenses in the last six months. Really?